This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for creating your own slick looking website or online store. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you why the Zeiss Batiste are my lenses of choice for the Sony A7. Free. Let's go shoot some shit. Not literally, not literally, of course. That would be stinky. The really cool thing about Zeiss Batiste lenses it's this little LCD screen here. I mean, you can, you can kind of still see it in the daylight here. You can customize it. Well, you can turn the screen on or off and change the distance scale from meters to feet and vice versa. And some people can say, oh yeah, but I, I really like the distance scale. Well, when you're autofocusing, not that useful, is it? But yeah, they're quite interesting designs in that they're quite bald. There's nothing to it. There's, there's, there's no, ridges or anything, it's smooth. Smooth like a baby's bottom, which is quite an interesting feel. The lens barrel, not baby's bottoms, the lens barrel. Smooth, minimalist, but weather sealed and robust. When you're holding it, because usually you get these little ridges, even a grip, it's nothing. That's quite a smooth grip, but it's a rubbery grip. And that's what you really need on an auto focusing lens. Apart from the focus ring, there's not really much to see and play with, apart from that famous blue logo and a focus limiter switch. Oh yeah, and that LCD screen, which is useful for manual focusing if you know exactly how far away your subject is. But one of my other favorite Batiste lenses, the 18 mm that is mwah, fantastico. First used it, I think it was about three or four years ago. And I used it for some landscapes, seascapes, some little rocks in the sea. That's me testing it way back for some comedy that I used to work for. This is the 18mm Batiste in a rare plastic bag mount. I liked it so much, I had to have this lens. And that is a fantastic lens. I even use that for a bit of vlogging because it's wide enough. And although it doesn't have any image stabilization, there's no optical stabilization, you've just got the IBIS. It works well enough because it's super wide. You don't see too much of the shapes. All right, there's a little bit of a shake there, but what are you, the shake police? Anyway, I prefer to have my vlog shaken than not stirred. For video slash vlog lens, it's all right, but for stills, it's pretty damn phenomenal. I can't think of too many bad things to say about this lens. Now, this is the 40 millimeter focal length. 40 millimeter focal length, a little bit odd for some, because it's not quite 35, it's not quite 50. And that's why it's so good. Because it's both of them in one tiny package. F2 Max Mapture. At F2, it's moderate, it's restrained, it's, yeah, it could be dull, but look, it could be worse. It could be an F2.8. They say everything looks good in 50 millimeter focal length. No, everything looks good in 40 millimeter focal length. We'll take a lovely picture of you. There you go. This is Jonathan. We can compare what you look like from, from like four years ago. The one thing they always say about Zeiss lenses is that it's got that Zeiss look. I, d I don't know what it means. That 3D-ness. And I, I, I hate that when people talk about images like, oh, it looks so 3D. It's almost like I can reach out and touch his bottom in real life. Don't know why I said bottom there. Could have gone for something else. Oh wow, it's so 3D, it's like so real, isn't it? Seriously, I don't know if there's a Zeiss look as such. It's probably just what people say to justify spending a shitload of money on lens. This 14mm Batis isn't some regular bog standard double gauss design you'll see in many standards. Nine elements, two spherical, five special distortion. Mannequin peep show going on there. Even without limiting the focus range, it goes from infinity to close focus in next to no time. It auto focuses pretty damn quick. Ooh. Now I can see one of the mannequin's nips were like that. It's pretty chilly today. I guess when they talk about that 3D-ness of size lenses, it's about that kind of transition from in focus to out of focus. And it's beautifully done with a Zeiss Batiste 40mm. It looks it looks 3D all right. Oh, God. Now, Boku! Sorry, that's a bit loud, isn't it? <laughs> Embarrass myself sometimes. And talking about Boku, it's not supremely creamy, but it's pleasant. Plenty of character. But this is, this is actually quite a nice, I mean, in terms of size. That's quite a likeable size. You know, some of these mirrorless lenses can get quite big. The 50 millimeters. 55? 55? 
58 millimeter, 55 millimeter. Yeah, the 55 millimeter Sony. Nice lens, but quite big. Okay, to be fair, for a 40 millimeter lens, the Zeiss Batiste is hardly compact. You can get a lot smaller 40 millimeter lenses. But hey, at least it's not Sigma sized. With the Batiste lens, you've got the 25 millimeter and also the 85 millimeter. Both pretty good as well. 85, a little bit more expensive, but with the 85, you get image stabilization. With the Sony one, you don't. This 40mm doesn't disappoint. It's a pretty stellar performer. Wide open, nice sharp center. Corners a tad softer, but pretty good for wide open performance. Super low distortion though. Nice. It's all about how it performs wide open. An F2. No color fringing, no ghosting, no flaring that I could find. It's just a well corrected lens. Make no mistake, this is a pretty fantastic lens, although you kind of expect it when you pay a little over $1,000 for a lens. Only issues with it? Well, if 40mm is not your thing, then that's too bad because this is one of the best standards that you can get for your Sony Alpha. And before we go, if you're a creator and you want to sell your own website and domain, you know, you might want to get noticed and look pretty damn slick, you should check out the sponsor of this video, Squarespace, because it's super easy to use, a plethora of award-winning templates and 24-7 customer service if things go pear-shaped. But it probably won't go pear-shaped because, as I just mentioned, it's super easy to use. You can start a free trial today and get 10% off your first purchase, which is lovely jubbly, isn't it? And you can find a discount code and a link in the description below. So yes, the Zeiss is nice. If you want to build that niceness from the Zeissness, then you might want to enter this competition because I have teamed up with Carl Zeiss USA to give away one Batiste lens of your choice. Just follow these instructions to make your entry into the competition. Step one, this is the most difficult part, look at all the different lenses and figure out which one do you want to win. I've made it even easier by putting all the links to the products in the description below. Step two, post a lovely photo on the Insta with some words detailing which lens you want to win. Hashtag Kai Batiste giveaway and follow Zeiss Camera Lenses Americas. Step three, someone or a panel of judges will pick out the winning photo and words after the deadline, 25th of October, 2019. Good luck, goodbye, good night. See ya, bye-bye.